am doing a first impression versus a review on a new palette. It is, here is the actual cardboard box. It's the Laura Geller 20 Shades of Baked. Now this is um, something that is exclusive to Ulta. It is, I believe, $49. I'll put something here so you guys can see because I, I think that's how much it was. I can't remember. Um, but it comes with 20 baked eyeshadows and a double-ended uh, brush. So this is the packaging of it if you are curious of what it looks like. As of right now, I am not sure if QVC and HSN is selling it. Laura Geller tends to be on those two as well. So there might be a very high chance you might find it there as well. So if you are interested in it, check those out as well. Because I know that they do typically have like an easy pay or a bundle package where you can get this with other things. So this is the palette itself that you bring. It is a very hard um, cardboard box. It's really nice. It is not so big and long. But it is a bit bulky on the sides. It's a little bit thicker than normal. I would say this is, um, it's about the size of the Vice 3 palette. That's what I would say it is. When you open it up, you get a really nice size mirror on the side here. And you have your eyeshadows down here. It comes with this plastic covering and the brush is down there. Of course, it fell. So now that the covering is off, these are the actual eyeshadows. I'll give you a close-up of them. They are absolutely stunning. I have not touched this, but just by looking at it, it is beautiful. Now, you are not going to get any matte shades, obviously, in this palette. So, um, the majority of the eyeshadows that I am seeing here... I'm just going to take the brush out so it doesn't fall out again. Um, but let me show you the brush really quick. Now, this is what the brush looks like. It's double-ended. It has a flat shader brush on one side and an angled brush. Now on the box it states that you can use this side, the, the flat shader brush, for the dry end and then this side right here, you can use that for the wetness as an eyeliner. So these eyeshadows are intended to be wet, dry, or can be used as an eyeliner. So you have three different ways of using these eyeshadows. Now, talking about the actual eyeshadows, you will not get any mattes in here. Obviously, they're all baked and they're all shimmery kind. So if you are the type that likes matte eyeshadows, at least some in a palette, I would say skip out on this. You're not going to like it. If you're the type that doesn't like shimmer or a nice shine to your eyelids, I would say skip out on this as well. This is specifically geared toward those that don't mind that nice shimmer, that um, nice even glittery look that really um, not so matte and flat uh, look uh, if you don't mind pulling another palette out to help you with transition colors with uh, brow bone colors something matte then go for this one now as you guys know I love color I love eyeshadow palettes and I love color. I'm not afraid of them and I'm not afraid of doing an all shimmer eye. I do have a lot of lid space to work with as far as my eye shape. So for me, it doesn't look so closed in if I do use all shimmer. Um, you do have to be careful, obviously, if you do use all shimmer, you don't want to look like a disco ball. So anyway, going back to these, um, I'm going to swatch some of these dry for you and then swatch some of these wet as well. I have not touched this. I have not used this on my eyes. Please keep that in mind. So I do not know how well it'll work on my eyes. I will in a future Sunday Loves or a future video update you guys on this, but I did want to show you guys this palette just in case if you were looking into it for Black Friday or for a Christmas gift, this is something you might consider for somebody that you know or for yourself. I just wanted to show you guys this palette because I'm pretty sure this isn't one of those palettes that everyone's looking out for, seeking for, or even knowing that it, it's out there and exists. So I wanted to show you because this is something that I absolutely love. Just by looking at it without touching it, I can tell you right now, it's going to be a favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch some of these for you. The first one I am going to go ahead and swatch is Topaz, which is right up here. Just by touching these, oh my goodness gracious, look at that. They are not rough. If you own any of the baked eyeshadows from e.l.f., it does not feel like that. It is nice and soft. So this is Topaz. So let me just roll up my sleeve so you guys can see these. This is Topaz. Look at that. 
That is a beautiful color. The next color I will uh, do, because this one looks really pretty, this one right here, khaki. So I'm going to rub this one. This one you could tell has glitter on it. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> I just fell in love. It actually matches my nails. Look at that. It matches my nails. So this is khaki. Oh my goodness. I am the worst swatcher of life. Like seriously. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I am in love. That is gorgeous. Even dry. In person. I don't know if you guys can tell. But in person, it you could tell that there's gold flecks in this one. So it's it's a green with gold flecks. Seriously, it's like my nails. It's gorgeous. I love it. Next one, I'm going to do a blue color for you guys. Let's do periwinkle, which is this one right here. So I'm going to swatch periwinkle. That is a beautiful, that's like seriously a periwinkle color. Let me see if I can swatch this better for you guys. Let's see. So that is Periwinkle. And let's do a light color for those light shimmery ones. I'm going to do Pearl. Pearl's the one right here. What finger have I not used? So that is Pearl. Oh, that's beautiful. Pearl. That one is Pearl. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It might be close to my skin tone. So those are just four of them. These are all dry. In person, I could tell you that their pigmentation is nice, but I can see that these are going to work a lot better wet than they are dry. Um, dry, I can see them being used in as a transition, as a fading out, as a little bit of a color. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my brush, this little brush here, and I'm just going to grab this e.l.f. mist, mist and set and then wet this and then go ahead and use this on the actual um, eyeshadows and show you on my hands. So the first color that I got was this one right here, Goldie, and there it is right there. Look how beautiful that is wet. That is wet on my hand. The next color that I grabbed was this purple one right here. It's called Tanzanite, and look at that. Oh my goodness. You could definitely tell that these are going to work so much better wet. The next color is Steel, which is this gray silver color. There it is right there. And the last one is this one right here, which is called Opal, which is this one right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So those are four eyeshadows that I did wet. Um, overall, I could definitely tell you that any of these eyeshadows being used dry it's going to be pretty easy to use as a transition color as in a lower lid color um some of the ones that have glitter like this one called khaki um may have more fallout than others because that one does have glitter chunks in it um but these are so beautiful i love them wet wet they're obviously anything any eyeshadow that you wet is going to be more vibrant, more uh, the color is just going to stand out more. So these are made for that. These remind me of the BH Cosmetics uh, baked eyeshadows that they have out. Um, I know that those are a cheaper alternative, but I wanted to try this out because it's just one set. Laura Geller tends to have a lot of baked products. Um, she has the baked uh, Balance and Brighten, her baked highlighters, she has baked blushes, So, and I really enjoy all of her products, and this is my very first eyeshadow palette from her, and I am very, very pleased just by swatching, just by touching them. They're very soft, very, very beautiful. I cannot tell you that if you are one of those people that does not mind um, a palette that doesn't have a matte shade doesn't have those those everyday safe colors you're gonna like this I love to play with color I don't need my safe colors to do a look this is definitely gonna come in handy especially for the holidays I'm planning on doing a tutorial with this for Christmas or for Thanksgiving I really enjoy it just by looking at it I really do any baked eyeshadow product obviously will have some fallout as you can see I'm gonna show you a little bit close up of what the palette looks like you can see there's a little bit of uh, fallout on these colors but it's nothing that is too much or it's going to get in your eyes or it's going to get all over your face if you work well with it you'll be fine you have to great if you have good tools 
you will be fine. So again, uh, just by first impressions, I I really like this. I like the feeling of it. I like the texture of them. I like the color payoff of it. And that's what I look for in a palette. I am not picky too much about packaging unless it's really bad or um, if what brand it is from. I, I It doesn't bother me. So this again, I, out of 10 for right now, I probably give this a seven. I wanna try it out of my eyes before I officially uh, decide if this is something that um, is really worth it or if it's a pain on your eyes. Again, I will do a follow-up on this palette for you guys. I will let you guys know in a future Sunday Loves if this is something that I would hands down say get it if you are a color palette lover or if you should just don't even bother with it and just skip out and get something else. That is my first impression on the Laura Geller 20 Shades of Bait eyeshadow palette. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys did get this palette, if you are considering it. I think uh, I'm going to really like this one a lot. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys.